In the Unresolved Problem segment tonight, another criminal illegal alien kills a young American. 22-year-old University of Tennessee track star Joycelyn Gardner was killed when a drunk driver ran a red light and smashed into a car she was driving. The killer was 24-year-old Victor Benitez, an illegal alien with six prior convictions, including two felonies. Now, let me tell you about this Benitez and why he's allowed by our system to kill Ms. Gardner. He's from Mexico, had four criminal convictions in Houston, Texas, a sanctuary city, so no attempt was made by Houston authorities to find out his immigration status. For all of those convictions, for all of them, including a felony drug beef, Benitez served seven months in a Texas jail. Then he moves to Nashville when he gets out where he continues to commit crimes. But even after six convictions, this man, Judge William Higgins, sentences him to just seven days for disorderly conduct. Higgins, as far as we can tell, made no attempt to find out if Benitez was illegal. We've been trying to get a statement from that judge, and he won't call us back. So Benitez walks out of jail after seven days, and shortly after that kills Joycelyn. Joining us now from Nashville is Heather Steffick, whose parents were killed by an illegal alien drunk driver who had four prior DUI convictions. Sorry that you have to talk about this. It's been almost a year since your parents were killed. And the one thing that the legacy has dictated is that Tennessee does now uh, inform Homeland Security about criminal illegal aliens, unlike Houston. But when you read about this poor woman, Miss Gardner, it must have brought back terrible memories for you. The similarities in the two cases are um, unreal. Um, the fact that this gentleman had a prior arrest record um, in, in Nashville, Tennessee, and then was released with so little time served, just like Gustavo Garcia, who killed my parents. Um, it, it, it just is a tragedy. I feel for this family, and I, I can definitely sympathize with them. Okay, now Garcia had four previous DUIs. He's, he killed your parents. Yes. Seven That's convictions, right. um, yes. you know, on and on and on. He got 25 years, um, and then he'll be deported it when he gets out of prison by ICE. Absolutely, do you believe? Yes. Do you believe that the deaths of your parents, that in the state of Tennessee, they have things under control as far as illegal criminal aliens are concerned? No, I don't think we have it in the state of Tennessee under control, nor across our country. I do believe that this is a state-by-state -state issue because um, of we each live in each individual state, but I think the federal government at some point is going to have to take a very serious look at these illegals in our country and what they're doing to our citizens. Um, you know, we, we worry so much about the human rights of the illegal immigrants coming in here. We've become such a, a touchy-feely, heartfelt nation, but the rights of American citizens every day are being um, taken away by deaths of like my parents and just like Jocelyn um, and I don't believe that's fair and I, nor do I believe we have this anywhere near control. Uh, you know I'm, I'm angry I'm angry at these people the, the guy who killed your, your, your you know and Benitez and Benitez should never get out of jail he should go to life but the judge the judge can you imagine sitting there and you have in front of you a man who has six convictions two felonies all right and you know he's standing there you don't know where he's from, and you don't ask. I mean, if, 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 the judge, if Judge Higgins did ask, we don't know about it, okay? Well, and he gives, the guy, he gives the guy seven days after six convictions and doesn't kick him out over to ICE. And it, to me, I'm sitting there, and I'm so angry at this Higgins guy. You know, I, Benitez, yeah, we know. But it's the judges, and then you're right, the federal government has got to say criminal illegal aliens, first conviction, deported. Bang. Well, Out of here. Absolutely. Well, I mean, the fact of being an illegal immigrant is not illegal in this country. You are not punished for the crime of being illegal sitting no, in the United not. States. No, you're not. You're not. Because it's and, a and, civil and, violation. But once you yes. commit a crime, Ms. Steffick, that's it. No second chances. You're gone. Absolutely. You know, in, in the state of Tennessee and actually in Davidson County, they've implemented a program by the name of 287G. Um, in Davidson County alone last year, they started the deportation process on 151 illegal immigrants. This year alone, since that program has gone into place in April, we have 601 immigrants going back to wherever they came from. Right. I feel like that this, so this the 287G... So the deaths of your parents at least led to that. Ms. Steffick, thanks very much. We appreciate it. Very difficult time for you. Thank you Thank so you much. Again. And a quick